Hey there Hunters, this is Ikeva and in this video, I'll be talking about the exclusive Razor weapons as well as how to get them. So most of you have probably heard of this promotion already where you get their two exclusive uh, Global Dragon Project weapons which is the Razor Heat Great Sword and the Razor Heat Dual Blades. They are both of the Earth Element and well you can sort of tell it from the color scheme of it, green color and it's sort of from their signature logo green color color scheme so as here I'll be talking about the great sword first as well as showcasing it against Queen Nura later or rather Nura's shadow form let's take a look at the stats first so uh, the razor great sword has three stages and you can evolve it two times with this being the third stage as you can see the name well they even like sort of link up to razors uh, like in relation to snakes so typhons venom and whoa look at that attack damage i mean the elemental attack is 2.4k when you actually compare it to the vindicator which is the only other heat great sword currently in global it only has 1.6k and this has 800 more which is really good because in this current meta it is mainly focusing on elemental damage it also helps to boost your Magi's uh, damage so it's a really good sword if you need a earth, if you need a heat great sword or even an earth heat great sword because currently there is no earth heat great sword so let's talk about its abilities the Razor Spirit it gives 20% of damage but even though it might sound low but the second ability reduces the earth uh, the great sword cliff charge down by 5% up to a total of 15% so it will increase by it will decrease the reduction by 5% for every cliff combo you did cliff combo referring to the pulverize which is the earth hit Great sword or rather all the heat great swords special abilities. So with a perfect roll of hmm, with a perfect of razor spirit which is a total of seven percent you get up to twenty one percent reduction which is quite a lot when you compare it to the Sakura Hood Petal Storm only give up to twelve percent when you perfect roll it. So a total the armor will give about 48% and if you get 3 of these swords there will be 63% already so that's like what isn't that really max I think there's a limit to the charge time reduction but wow reaching 100 but if you're not getting 3 of those of this razor heat great sword you can also even combine it with Ovidium's great sword which reduce great sword cliff charge time by 15% That's that itself is already a lot especially when you combine it with Sakura Hood which is another uh, Earth Great Sword set that you can combine with So uh, Let's talk about this Mega slot So it can hold One attack and one kill with max limit break you can hold another support so this magic support, I suppose most of you will go for Code Ages, right? I will also actually recommend going for either Tranquil Fury or the Almighty Stone Cloak of Light which was... which is a pretty long name They used to change... They, it used to be shorter but they changed it I can't even remember what was the short name But oh well So... With this Stats out of the way, let's try to showcase it. Alright, so we will be fighting against Shadow Nura to showcase the Razor Heat Great Sword. And for the heat, uh, to complement with the Heat Great Sword, I'll be using Wicked Blossom King's uh, Earth Damage and Cliff Charge Reduction Time abilities, as well as the Vindicator and Ovidium's Great Sword. So if you do not have the Wicked Blossom King set, no worries, there are other sets that you can complement with this weapon 
and I'll be showing you some of them after my showcase of against Shadow Nora. So one thing about Shadow Nora is that her attacks will paralyze you, which is really annoying. So I plan to get her fatigue before I pulverize her to nothing. Meaning she's gonna disappear from this world. At least until she came back until she will come back with uh, her brother or rather her lord leech. So there she goes running away from my awesome power and let's get this started so look at that charge down and pulverize and pulverize Whoa. one pulverize is all it takes to take down this queen oh, and it's her shadow form that is a pretty fast fight if I say so myself I have nothing to say. I wanted to talk more, but <laughs> she got melted so easily. Okay, so now that she has seen what this sword can do, especially with that high ele elemental damage, I did not even need to use my Megas to help me in the fight. But of course, that is against an a lightning element, uh, Behemoth, which is the weakness. If it was other element. Well, I was just using other element, wep other element weapons already, but it's your choice. So, if you are um, getting this sword, and well, it does not have an armor set, so I'm using the Wicked Bastard King set. But if you do not have this set, you can always go for Arion, which also increase up damage and increase damage dealt to fatigue enemies by 8% so just now right there when I fatigue Nura to do my pulverize I could have gotten the increased damage dealt to fatigue enemies so some of you might think that it's not really that easy to fatigue enemies but that's where you're wrong great sword can increase the most fatigue enemy uh, fatigue gauge of a behemoth and jump cleaving or rather armor breaking at the right weak spot at the right timing can instantly f most of the time instantly fatigue the monster so it's really a good uh, complement to the set other sets that you can actually use to complement against it is actually Kaludu which increases great sword uh, charge time Hey, no, sorry. Which increases great sword? No, wait. Which reduces great sword charge time? So, um, let's take a look. So here's head Kalulu, and the abilities complement with the great sword by increasing the cliff damage. But the sad thing about this is, is that it does not provide the elemental damage. But it's still good with the cliff damage. It can also go well with. Uh, Arion, oh wait, I said that already. Uh, Arch, Archlon, which provides the the bow weapon when you craft it. So let's take a look. Archlon should be yes, the Dark Storm Penina. So its abilities is to increase the earth damage by six percent and dodge distance by three percent. So the earth damage is actually lower compared to Arion. But dodge distance is higher, so you can when you want to do armor break, you sort of like roll for uh, roll even more to get closer to the behemoth. So that is somewhat good, but I would definitely recommend Arion over the other S rank. So that's about it for the Earth Great Hit Sword. Let's move on to the Earth Hit Dual Blades. Alright, so here we have the Razor uh, Earth Hit Dual Blades. So let's take a look at its abilities first. With Razor Soul being its innate ability, it provides uh, Earth damage for 20% and increases fatigue 
enemies uh, increases damage dealt to fighting enemies by 30%. That is similar to Arion abilities, so you guys know what set it will go well with already. So with its perfect roll of plus 3 on each line, uh, the maximum, wow, that is, you can do like 48% increase. Is it 48 percent? Yes, you can do up to 48 percent increment against fatigue enemies, and um, 44 percent earth damage. That is, well, the earth damage increment increase is actually higher than the earth great hit sword. But its abilities, hmm, you have to fatigue it first. But that's still quite high. So if you actually team up with a soul, uh, soul sword and shield user which can easily fatigue the behemoth You are basically going to be the second most highest DPS beside the soul sword and shield player Alright, so as for its... Uh, I apologize in advance regarding the level of this weapon as I am short of the materials to actually evolve these weapons but let's take a look at what you need for its last lab, uh, last stage so that you guys can be prepared for what you need so you will need the worm mark and you will need um, Madora which is they can be easily found in the latest events of the Puppeteer um, the second weekly search mission event and the what is the other one the returning event for beast yeah the one that gives a lot of gems like 10 gems per story quest and you will also need if i'm not wrong there's ah yes you will need clay door ah clay door right here so this can also be found in the desert map so no worries on challenging. Oh wait, yeah, it's clear though. Sorry. So, yeah, I need a lot of this, which is 121. Uh, I'm sure most of you already have this material. The reason why I'm short of them, even though I'm high level, is because recently I've been improving my collection and using up a lot of materials. So, unfortunately, I'm not able to provide the materials needed. But its elemental attack is still quite high when you compare it to hmm, actually it's around is an asset so I can't really compare it against it so let's take a look at maybe my netherworld so level 1 netherworld is 352 elemental attack which is lower but the attack is higher but like I said before elemental attack is the meta right now so it's awesome and as for the mega slot it gives one attack one support and at max limit break it gives another support so lately all the uh, current hit doublets you will see is two attacks and one support but for this exclusive weapon you get two support now it might not necessarily be bad because with two support you can actually equip one quad ages which prevents the staggering and one tranquil fury which increases your earth damage when you combine with overdrive it's gonna be quite good and if you have a awesome earth mega like cross cut or xenota x that is gonna be awesome so right now i'm using my cross cut and my tranquil fury so for this set i actually combine with arion's rampage for the beast rush and the winter storm from the grand prix of christmas the, to increase my earth damage by 20 percent and here we have the arion armor set so if you don't have the arion set or if you would like to combine with others i will tell you more about it after i do a showcase of this awesome weapon all right so for the razor heat door blades i'll be fighting against the shadow blossom king and the sets I'll be using is the Arion set that I mentioned before as well as the Doublades and Winter Storm. 
So as for my Mega, it will be Crosscut and Cold Aegis for extra security as my Iron Set is not Max Nimit Break yet so it's really lacking in the defense stat, uh, stats. So let's get this party started. Mm. I miss this music. I really like this kind of background music. Okay, so whoa, ho, oh. look, look at that awesome. Whoa, there's like sparks coming out of the. Dang, I'm liking this uh, visual effects of the sparks. Wait, does my overdrive? Ah, dang. I, I was kind of hoping that the overdrive would also emit out that same uh that it will also release that uh same green color aura but I guess not dang if it is it'll be really awesome man oh man that's that's one set part about it I guess uh, alright oops I gotta get away from him I do not have a dual blade uh I need a great sword user to cancel it Ah, although we have NPC iron. Ah, oh, never just for them. <laughs> okay, let's let's whack him with the awesome power of the razor. Hmm, you know what would be cool as well? Having this exclusive weapon give an innate ability of uh, the poison ability. Like, since they are razor and related to pythons, you know, they, they should have some innate abilities where each of a strike have a chance to deal uh, to give a poison debuff to the behemoth like neurotoxin but with poison instead that would be so damn cool man alright so here we are having our overdrive and let's get that cross cut in and look at ah yes damn that damage so, for the Razor Dome Blitz, the only other uh, Earth Hit Dome Blitz is Kong, while Great Sword only has the Razor Dome, uh, Razor Great Sword. So, I would more or less recommend at least getting the Great Sword because currently you don't have the chance to experience fighting with a uh, Earth Hit Great Sword. So, for this, oh wow, oh shit. I'm I just realized my health. Okay, I'm getting <laughs> unfocused right there. Oh, but honestly speaking, I'm actually focusing on my blades because it just looks so nice. Like, look at the sparks coming out. Ah, you know, maybe I should like give a feedback to the Go game developers and ask them to make a special overdrive where the aura is green color as well then that would be so oh, I can imagine it already oh, totally go for these weapons feel green as well uh, overdrive oh. alright so ah, one. I remember why I hate fighting this behemoth it keeps jumping around like just stay still man Alright, so I missed my first hit of cross cut right there. Let's get our overdrive back up. Alright, wow. Yes, look at that. With quad edges up, dual blades are really easy to use with uh, for hit. So that is an awesome uh, skill right there. Uh, I mean, an uh, awesome fight. A door slower compared to the earth hit great sword, but hey, that. The sword is just OP. Dang, oh my god. Look at the menacing sort of poison like aura coming out. Hey, developers, if you're watching this, could you please add in the innate ability that deals a percentage chance of poisoning the behemoth? That would be so cool. Oh, and also remember to include that green aura for overdrive. Oh, right. So that was a showcase of it, and oh, I just realized I 
forgot to mention some things about the abilities. So these two abilities, the Great Sword and the Dual Blades, they can only be applied to hit Great Sword and hit Dual Blades. So if you are planning to use Sakura as your main, you won't get the effects of Razor. But if you are using Vindicator, you will get the reduction for the charge. So yeah. So what ca what other sets can you complement with this awesome looking dual blades that I want to have more of? Uh, look at the aura. Right. So as I was saying, uh, you can use this set with the Kong, which is currently in the banner. Kong gives um, the ability of Earth damage and also increase your heat gauge refill which works really well with this dual blade so it's really a good banner if for these dual blades and other than that you can also use Aria which I'm using now and the uh, Archlon like Archelon like uh, from the Great Sword that I mentioned just now so these three sets will be really good Oh, and I forgot to mention one more. The For those of you who participated in the Christmas Grand Prix, you can actually use the Ghoster set as well. As it increases 20% earth damage. Hmm, where did I put this? Put that weapon. Wait. I'm confused right now. So, wait, was it an S weapon? S? Hang on, wait. Hmm. Oh wait, this is my forge. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing? Alright, so where's the oh why why is my thing not sorted by rarity? Alright. So with the ghoster you can also use this set to complement with your uh, Razor Heat Dual Blitz. So that's about it for the showcase. I will now be moving on to... For those of you who wants to get this Dual Blitz, I'll be showing you how to get it right now. Alright, so here we are at the promotion page. I will put the link in the description for easy access. And here are where all the details are and here is the preview of the awesome weapons. Take note that this weapon is global exclusive so Dragon Project Japan will be jealous of these cool looking blades. So the promotion lasts until 28 February which is the end of the month. And this is the description of the reward tiers. If you are an avid collector like me, you will want to get at least this set tier for one of each and if you are a hardcore Razer fan like I have a friend who is really a hardcore Razer fan so he would I think he would definitely go for this so uh, one thing to note is that these weapons can also be turned into rainbow art lapis because they are treated as original double S from Gacha but why would you want to do that to these awesome weapons like how could you Alright, after that, uh, after you have decided what you want to get for, go for, here are the instructions on how to uh, redeem it and all, but I'll be showing you step by step. So, first of all, you just need to click this huge preview right here and it will direct you to this page where you can see that uh, these two methods is what you will this one and this one is what you want to go for so click buy now and just enter your user IDs they want your user ID so that they can actually transfer the gems into your gift box for identification purposes so after that I'll choose this and they will direct me to a page where I can select the method so you will have to choose one of these three and I'll go with the first one so they'll ask you to redirect you and just click on it and they'll bring you back to Razor. So you load and load and load. 
So you gotta sign in to complete your order. So right here, after that, they'll bring you to this page where you have to confirm your order. So if you have the goal, they will ask you to uh, confirm. And once you click that, it'll be completed. We should redirect you to inform you that it will be sent to your gift box with the gems. So enjoy your weapon from there. Right. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching.